you should remap your caps lock key to control. And in this video, I'm going to break down why it's a must have. So why would anyone ever do this in the first place? Well, the simple reason is that the control key where it's placed, it's kind of inconvenient. So if you want to start using the key maps that are really going to be game changers for you, it really hinges on being able to hit that control key easily and conveniently. Okay. So why remap it to the caps lock key? When I first started using Vim, I read a suggestion to remap your caps lock key to the escape key. And I really loved it. It made hitting escape super easy and it was just really gratifying. But then I read Practical Vim by Drew Neal. And he actually says he prefers remapping caps lock to control. And at first I'm like, bro, there's no way I'm ever going to hit control open bracket every time I want to escape insert mode. But once I tried it, I was convinced. So let's get into the benefits. First things first, you have escape literally at your fingertips. So if we're in insert mode, we can hit control open bracket to escape insert mode. This behaves the same way as if we had actually hit the escape key. And for most terminals, this will behave the same way. More importantly though, any control plus key maps are now super convenient. For example, hitting control W to delete back an entire word, control U to delete back the entire line, control R and any register to paste straight from that register without leaving insert mode, control N or control P to autocomplete. There's also plenty in normal mode like control A and control X to increment and decrement a number, uh, a bunch of control W commands for working with windows, control O and control I for navigating up and down the jump list. Control V for working with visual block mode, and the list goes on. You also never have to worry about accidentally hitting caps lock and then everything going nuts. And if you only have to move your pinky over one key to hit control, it also unlocks a lot of quality of life shortcuts in your shell. For example, if you're using bash, zish, or probably any other shell, you can hit control P or control N to step through your previous commands, which Seems super simple because you could just move over and hit the up and down key, but once you get used to it, you'll never go back. One of the game changers is being able to hit control R to enter a backward search through your shell history. And now I can just type in GCC and hit control R as many times as I need to find the exact hit on that command. And also being able to use control A or control E to jump to the end of the line control W to back up words, or just control U to wipe away the entire line. I am going to warn you, if you get used to these shortcuts and then you start seeing one of your coworkers backspace through every character like a caveman, you're going to lose your mind. So this is a one-way trip. You have been warned. And if that's not enough to convince you, just go back and look at the actual keyboards that Vi was originally written for. Notice where the control key is exactly where caps lock key is on a modern keyboard. If you want to learn about this and more, there's a really cool article by Brian Lindyke about the history of Vi. I'll link that in the description. So that's it. Go remap it in your operating system. Try it out for at least a week, and hopefully you'll get as much out of it as I do. Peace.